Hey y'all, it's me, Ren, back again for another adventure. My stream was having some issues, so I was waiting for it to get its shit together. Um, but I think we're good now. My kibbits seem to be in order again. Uh, and all that jazz. My bars are green, everybody seems happy with me. So here we are, about to go. All right, so we've got some exciting things this Monday, uh, if you get excited about the sorts of things that I get excited about. Um, the first thing is that we are going to be moving on to playing Green. Green, also known as Brian. Um, we've only got one Polaroid for him, because when my robot was playing with us, um, he went ahead and played Green. Princess to my castle. Okay, so we already have a Miranda uh, card for him, so we don't need to worry about that. And in our endings, we still need normal prom with Vera, which is going to be impossible, uh, and with uh, Damien. Damien's special ends are really quite, I mean, easy. Uh, so we get those a lot. All right, so we're going to get to be green, and we'll go after Damien today, because it's been a while since we've been going for Damien, because we had to <clears throat> get a lot done, and then my, my folks were visiting. Oh, my goodness. I just got some... Oh, Judge Judy Slayer has followed me. Oh, that's very exciting. Haha, <laughs> it made a big noise, too. I don't know if y'all saw any of it, but there we go. Um, let's see. We are ready to start our special thing here. Or, not our special thing. It's our usual thing. We play Monster Prom. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play. And we're still doing one player. And we're still doing first term for now. And we're going to stick with the short game so that I don't just absolutely fry my batteries. My own personal batteries, not my computer battery. Ah, spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Who are we? Well, I'm green today, and my name is going to be Custom. So what do you think? I think we're gonna be Gren. Cause we're Ren, but we're green, so we're Gren. Okay. And he seems, he seems to embrace his masculinity. So we'll go ahead and, and leave his pronouns as a he, him here. <laughs> <laughs> Back at ya. And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our six most charismatic classmates. Huzzah! Miranda Vanderbilt, 19, a sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. Yeah! Damien LeVay, 21, a fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. <laughs> Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. Liam DeLioncourt, 400 and something. A hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid that he was truly a lovable dork. Yay! And Polly Geist, 22-ish. A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. What? And Vera Oberlin, 23, a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear it had to be one of them. But who? Damien. We're going for Damien today. That's who. That is definitely who. 
We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. For some reason, my brain was telling me that I was um, lisping on the word weeks. Like it should have been leaks or reeks. And I was saying weeks. But it, it's weeks. That's the word. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more, we're now using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster Prom's stupidest pop quiz ever, DM. We'll throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character stats. Perhaps alchemy-like. This way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Let's start. All right, you get the chance to produce a movie. It's based on the most influential Russian novelists of the 19th century have gone nuts. They don't remember anything about last night, and now they can't find the manuscript of the Brothers Karamazov, and Dostoyevsky has to deliver it today. Two cool guys walking away from rad explosions, and they don't look at the explosions. They don't give a fuck about the explosions. They reflect on life and love, but it's super dope and kick ass because they do so walking away from never ending explosions. Something about superheroes, but with a love triangle between a beautiful yet somehow relatable girl. Maybe she's always skating, she's a mess and uh, two of the super hot superheroes, which are also like vampires or pirates or both. Instant hit. Uh, let's see. Superheroes will get me the muns, huns. But uh, two cool guys is bold. Yeah, we need to be bold. Yeah. If you had to have sex with an animal, which animal would it be? A human being, because I'm the kind of douchebag who loves to find loopholes in stupid questions like this one. A great white shark. If I have to fuck an animal, let's at least make it a story worth telling. A swan. They're classy. Plus, it reminds me of that myth of Lita and the swan. So at least by bestiality standards, it has a certain chic appeal. Okay, so this is like the only set of questions that has six answers instead of three. Um, except for the where you actually choose for the people, which is the third question. But, so this one, because the other answers that are on its other little card are a dolphin, a racehorse, and uh, fuck you, I've already fucked an animal. Um, I, I don't really know what that matters, but it's just a thing that I found interesting. Um, and it, I mean, of all the questions to have the most answers for, which animal would you fuck is certainly a choice. All right, I'm going with Great White Shark because I'm just going to be bold out the wazoo. Oh. Oh, wow. It was charm. I was not expecting that to be charm. I just look at the microphone like it was you guys' face. That's whatever. I'm not on the office. I'm not doing any spit takes. No, that's not what they're called. Anyway, who, who are we going to date? What would be the most appealing in a love partner? Sharp wits, a very tsundere personality, soft fur, kawaii eyes, a taste for a party, a big horn. Yeah, uh, poorly veiled, uh, but definitely going for Damien. Green wants red. Do 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 do. So if I ever get audiences on here where I can actually chat back and forth, then I'm going to be talking about y'all, uh, not about y'all, I'm going to be talking to y'all about anime because I love anime and I'm trying to get a podcast going with my robot. Um, um sure. Um, sure. All right. I got distracted immediately. Let's look at what I've got here. Let's have more fun. Let's go outdoors. Besides, we have to see his hands moves he's doing a robot ha <laughs> just like my robot uh that day during recess you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy 
You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point, there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from a nightmare dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain too fun. As you go about your day, you can't help but notice Damien and Scott trying on beige business suits. By the time you get over to them, they've both taken the suits off and are examining them critically. Hmm. Something still isn't right. Hmm. Yeah. I really don't want to half-ass our Pokemans cosplay. Coach says to always use your full ass on everything. I'm with you, man. Nobody gives more of a shit about the classic Pocket Humans video game than me. Uh. But what the fuck are we missing, man? We've got the suits, the horn-rimmed glasses, the sickly pale body paint. Everything we need to cosplay Doug and Wilbert. <laughs> the twin titans of real estate. I know who they are, Scott. I've played the damn game. Now come on, help me think of what we're missing. You know right away what their costumes need. You reach into your bag and pull out the one thing no human would ever be caught dead without. <clears throat> a unicycle. A gun. Well, I suppose it depends what country you're in, right? Mm -mm. Okay. Um, well, a unicycle is going to be Scott's answer, and I imagine that that will require fun, a gun, I want Damien, so we're going to go for a gun. Fucking and metal. yeah, it's so bold. Yes, yes, this is exactly what my costume needed. Come on, Scott. Put on your mask and let's head over to the convention. Okay, Damien. Hey, uh, by the way, why is the convention happening over at the First National Bank? In the middle of the day. On a weekday. <laughs> Humans don't ask questions, Scott. Come on, let's go rob that, I mean, make some friends. If anyone asks, that gun isn't yours. You gain two fun and one boldness. Ding dong, bing bong. Um, sure. Let's see here, we're gonna stat boost with our cross. Cross. You're just trying to enjoy a meal in peace when space untwists itself to reveal the interdimensional prince. Greetings, my love. Most glorious hero. Thank the squid star I found you. I've been confounded by the most fiendish riddle. A riddle that has vexed me for days. Nay, weeks. The riddle of how to change the ringtone on my new smartphone. This interface is more torturous than my palace labyrinth. For real? You grab the prince's phone, change the ringtone to butts, 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 all about those butts by the booty bros. This is like the 17th time we've done this for you, my man. You need, you need to learn how to work your own cell phone. My hero, what seems difficult to me is trivial to you. You do even guessed which ringtone I desired, a true all-time classic from the sixth dimension. There's only one way I can repay you. By bestowing upon you a superpower of your choice. I can do that. I'm the prince of another dimension. I can do all kinds of crazy things you don't know about. All kinds of crazy things besides use his phone, apparently. And he really only gives you two superpower options. Telepathy and an ass that won't quit. Okay. So, I think we've tried both of these before. Ass that won't quit is charm. Telepathy, I'm pretty sure, is smart. It really could go either way here. Um, you know what? We changed his ringtone to butts, 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 so let's keep the butt theme going. An ass that won't quit. Ah, uh, oh yes, the choice of a true gentle monster. With a wave of his magic wang, the prince imbues your ass with boundless work ethic. By day, your ass amazes your classmates and creepy teachers. By night, it does your homework for you. All that work makes your buns super tight. You gain four charm. Um, um sure. Um, uh, sure. All right, it's evening. What's our dippiest for creativity? We are creativity challenged. Oh, he's a dragon. 
Look at him, he's a dragon. I'm a dragon. That day, while rehearsing for the class play, it's as though the muses themselves have descended to give you a figurative blowjob. Your performance is intense and inspiring. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school play standards. You gain two creativity. Rawr, I'm a dragon. Suddenly a chill runs through you, as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for the feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored. Hi! Damien! 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 What? I must have fallen asleep for a second because nothing is on fire. Mm. I know, right? Nothing crazy has happened in the last 47 minutes and I'm dead. I mean, I am literally actually dead. But also I am dead because of how bored I am. What if we just, uh... Oh fuck, I'm so bored I can't even think of something to do to not be bored! No! Help us! Somebody, please! Cause a sexy problem! Alright, break the seven seals and release Kralak Thul, the world fucker. Send in the party goblins. Oh, well, now we're, we're definitely gonna summon Kralak Thul, the world fucker. I mean, it's about time. We're, we're there, aren't we, folks? So smart. It's so smart to summon Krakathul. Using an accursed sword someone was stupid enough to give you, you shatter the wor wards, separating the world fucker from our world. He, emer he emerges into this mortal plane with a noise like a million throats being slit at once, wreathed in a bloody vapor. These are the end times that the ancient poets forlornly prophesied. This realm will rot like the maggot-riddled corpse it is. Oh, sick! It's the world fucker! Come to fuck the world! Yes! Yes! Hey, world fucker! Wanna party? Kralak Thul speaks with a voice like a snake eating itself. He says, Hell yes! No, he didn't say me! He said, hell yes. You all head off to party all night, leaving a trail of flaming wreckage in your wake. The world is doomed, but at least it's not boring. You gain two fun and one boldness. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Um, sure. Um, uh, sure. All right, it's morning. What are we going to do? Our creativity is still but. Uh, uh, but our smarts also is rather butts, so we'll go there. Oh, he's sleeping. That day, you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons. Sometimes, after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. You gain plus two smarts. I haven't said plus two smarts in a long time. Anyway. Par- Yeah, party way. Partway through class, you break up into groups. Ugh, the report. You notice Damien by himself at a desk, thinking hard. Wait, Damien? Thinking hard? In class? You ask him what's up. <clears throat> it's just a stupid writing assignment. I'm supposed to write two pages on a destructive tool that's better than fire. Better than fire? What's better than fire? Water. Water's more destructive than fire. Uh. Fire's my thing, my whole brand. I swear, Miss Demon Slayer's got it in for me. What am I supposed to write about? You never thought you'd see the day when Damien would ask your advice about destructive tools, but you've been preparing nonetheless. You tell him. More fire? Sarcasm. Well, I think sarcasm is gonna be smart, maybe charm. More fire is potentially bold. But it could also be creative. Let's, uh, you know what balls out, everybody? Sarcasm. Oh, it's so smart. Oh yeah, right. Nice try. Wait, shit. I didn't mean to be sarcastic just then. I was just being. Fuck. The sarcasm. I can't stop it. It's spreading through me like, like, like wildfire. No, I never realized the true power of irony. Do you believe in the true power of irony? 
I mean, you're showing up on my waveforms, so I'm assuming yes, you do. It's very nice to have conversations with you, baby. I sure hope that, I mean, you, you showed up on the waveforms, but I sure hope they can hear you. Uh, uh, what does Liam sound like? Uh, we were we were doing a posh kind of thing for him. Maybe try freaking out about it more. That will help. Uh, Liam, no, it hurts. Stop being insincere. Yeah, sure. Ah! Damien writes his entire paper on sarcasm and uses Liam as a visual aid. For your assistance, you gain two money and one smarts. Oh, he paid us. That's pretty cool. Um, sure. Yeah. All right, we're going to go sit with the coven and see what shenanigans they have for us today. You're enjoying your meal in peace when you hear the unmistakable sound of three throats clearing. Ahem. 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 Yes, hello. As you know, it is customary for a benevolent witch coven as to have, as an ally, a malevolent creature of some sort. And since Liam has apparently decided that he's too cool for us now, I mean, because of your incredible resume and good looks, uh, we've decided to accept you on a trial basis as our supernatural companion for one adventure. Adventure not to exceed three episodes or eclipse the main plot arc. As a consideration for your willing participation, we'll even allow you your choice of adventures. Three episodes. You could knock one of these adventures out by the end of lunch. And it actually sounds fun. The coven gives you two options. Stop the crime ghost who's been taking over children's bodies and using them to rob banks. You have a never-before-seen plan. Take on the greatest villain of all, income inequality. I'm going to go with crime ghost because I think that's more fun and I could use fun more than I can use money because money is not all that important to Damien. All right, let's see. You put a stop to the crime ghost crime. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm Ugh. my throat. I got words caught in it and they hurt. All right. You put a stop to the crime ghost crime in the only way you know how, with fake beards. It's, it's working. Now that all the children have fake beards, the crime ghost can't tell their children. He's got no one to possess. Yep, yeah, that was totally your plan. You definitely didn't just start slapping beards on kids and hope for the best. Excellent. The day is saved once again, thanks to the coven and our faithful sidekick, Gren. What's that? You wanted to know about payment? We're sorry, but the contract clearly states that this is an unpaid internship. The contract does say that. Oh well. At least you get four creativity for your lateral thinking. And your impressive collection of beards. Ding dong, bing bong. Um, sure. Alright. Oh, look at all these nines, tens, and elevens. That's beautiful. I want to get them all double digits. Where should we go? go to gym. I don't know why I did that. I meant to go to either smarts or boldness. I cat meowed and every thought went right out of my head. Yeah, you. That day an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit. Ooh, he's really good at dodgeball. Look at him. He punched it. He doesn't have bad musculature for someone whose muscles are purportedly rotting off of his body. Oh, leading to a spectacular comeback. Did I finish that sentence? Or did I just ramble off in the middle there? Uh, you're clearly a natural born leader. You gain two charm. Afterwards, you spot Coach ranting excitedly at Damien. Better go save them from I each other. Even yourself. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're both they're both gruff voices. Uh, let's see. What I'm trying to say, son, is that you're full to the gills with untapped potential. I don't have gills. Then, whatever you breathe with, that's what you're full up to. My, 
My lungs? Sure, your lungs are full of untapped potential. And you know what they say. I don't. Untapped potential is like <clears throat> untapped maple syrup. It just sits in your lungs where it can't go on anyone's pancakes. What does this have to do with me creating a super special custom workout? Your potential, Damien! We gotta tap it. If you can design a workout that strengthens your specific skills, then this would still be a really dumb conversation. But it's also an opportunity for you to bond with Damien, so you suggest... Obstacle course through a burning building. It'll make you better arsonist. Or it'll make you a better arsonist, even. An ambitious regimen of powerlifting. It will make you a better... Hairdresser? Oh, spoilers. This is a hint from a different run-through that we play, because Damien does some killer wigs and makeup. All right, what do we got? We got creativity, charm, and fun, all good. Um, Let's do this one, because I like it a little better. I mean, all his shit's all about fire, so let's, let's go a little so creative. A hairdresser? A hairdresser? Why didn't you tell me you wanted to be a hairdresser? Because I totally don't. Well, that's too bad. At sports college, I actually minored in hairdressing. Oh, well, it would be a shame to not use your talents. I guess I could do some totally lame hairdressing workouts. Hooray, let's do it. He's blushing. He's blushing because he's so happy. Because even though it's an alternate universe and we don't know he's a hairdresser, he is a hairdresser and he appreciates the chance to practice his craft. Coach leads Damien through the most intense hairdressing workout you've ever seen. Granted, you haven't seen many hairdressing workouts, but this is definitely super intense. I bet your triceps get a lot of work. Pump. I, like, oh, I just forgot what his voice is. All right. Pump that iron. Keep that iron. Curling iron. Curling iron. Bicep curls. Cherry curls. All the other kinds of curls. Bob and weave. Weave that bob. Bob that weave. I'm doing it! I'm tapping my potential! The maple syrup is draining out of my fucking lungs! You never realized how much overlap there is between sports and hairdressing. Go figure. You gain two smarts and one fun. Well, there was that Steelers player that had like a big shampoo contract or something, but he used like um, Pert Plus. Sure. I don't know. I don't remember. I think I just made the robot laugh through the wall. <laughs> That's a very powerful feeling. Okay, what am I doing? Where are we going? Oh, we haven't run into any of the three furs yet. Oh, that would be cool. Okay, what am I doing? I need to be bolder. Let's go to the bathroom. Nope, we can't go to the bathroom. Wait. You know what? No, no, we're not going to the bathroom. We're gonna go have fun. Damien likes fun. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You spot Juan, the small magical Latino cat who seems a bit sad. He explains to you that he's worried people are so used to calling him Juan, the small magical Latino cat, that now everyone defines him only by his size, magicality, ethnicity, and species. He's more than that. You correct him. You don't see him in such simplistic terms and convenient definitions. It's just that there are around 23 other different wands at the school. So adding all that to his name is quite necessary. You tell him you'll never forget about him and the crazy adventures you both lived together in Monster Prom's prequel, Monster Middle School. You have a great time remembering those crazy stories. You gain two fun. Oh, that's nice, because there's one of these where you steal from, steal fun from either Juan himself or from a clown, I think. 
Oh well, that's not today. And I'm just getting all sorts of tangents today. Later, you see Damien packing a bag. I'm going away for the weekend. To detention. And fucking detention again. Because I'm Jude... Wait. Jude Law? Jude Law. Yeah, we'll call him Jude Law from the Breakfast Club. I think that's his name. Why? Just because I rigged the teacher's lounge door with booby traps that poured silky piss on whoever opened it? I, I mean, I didn't even set anything on fire this time. Let me spill the tea. This school is strict as fuck. <laughs> anyway, just brainstorming some ways to keep things entertaining beyond fucking ditching. Do it. Do it. Just fucking ditch. Do it. Cross species, economic, and social barriers to make lifelong friends with a diverse group of students in detention and find out through silly dancing that you're not so different after all. Yeah, it's a breakfast club. It's a breakfast club theme. Judd Nelson. Thank you. Judd Nelson. The robot came through for me. It's not Jude Law at all. <laughs> you know, J names. They're all the same. Uh... What are we going to do? Are we going to ditch? Or are we going to put on the breakfast club? Let's ditch. No, ditching might be boldness. Judd Nelson. All right. Uh, it, uh, now we're going to do this one. So creative. I never really thought of making connections before. <laughs> I mean, what's this? Spooky high best friend race? Well, you're right. I could always use a scapegoat for some of my more sinister plans. When the weekend is over, the tales of Damien's exploits as outsider-turned-buddy echo through the halls. Rumors fly that handshakes were made up, deep secrets were revealed, and a whimsical dance scene took place in the library. With both Jude Law and Judd Nelson. By next week, people are still intrigued about why Damien is sort of frozen in the middle of the football field with his fist in the air. Damn, did you just start a new school club? You gained two fun and one creativity. Um, sure. All right. Oh, we're going to have lunch with Coach and I can give him a third voice. You're desperately trying to enjoy your meal in peace, but Coach insists on striping, striking up a conversation. Hi, my beloved student. Hey there, bud. What you drinking? What? Milk? That's it? That's hardly a drink at all. <laughs> Everybody knows the drink is the backbone of a balanced lunch. And what would we be without backbones? I don't know. My doctor yells at me whenever I try to find out. Look at his face. He gets yelled at by the doctor for a lot of stuff, I bet. But enough about me. Let's get you juiced. You can have sports sauce or muscle juice. Which will it be? All right. We drank both before, but this time we're getting some whiskey. Hey, whiskey. Uh. Hmm. I don't remember offering that. Offering you any choice. I almost went Yoda with that. But you chose it, so I must have offered it to you. Otherwise, why would you have chosen it? Youth is a gift. Oh, well, I guess I just gotta go out and buy you a case of whiskey. Coach marches off to illegally purchase a whole bunch of alcohol on your behalf. When all your classmates realize they can get Coach to buy them booze just by asking, you can become the coolest kid in school. You gain four fun. Now, to be fair, a whole bunch of the monsters at this high school are above the drinking age for a majority of countries. And those that aren't are very close to it. Da, 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 da. All right. Um, Wait, no, sure. I'm not her anymore. I'm um sure. Um sure. All right, we're gonna go to the bathroom and get our bold up above ten, just in case we need that. That day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. I guess some people just want to watch the world burn by skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. You give zero shits, but you gain two boldness. And I like this because he is sewing up his jacket and has sewn it to his arm. 
Because he is zombie. Because jokes are the best when you explain them. All right. Afterwards, Damien comes out and punches you affectionately in the sho shoulder. Hey, asshole, go to hell. Like, literally, my house is in hell and I'm inviting you over. Don't read too much into it. Only one problem. In order to get there, you kind of got to damn your immortal soul. So how about it? What crimes against God and man will you commit so we can hang out? Oh. Oh, I think I'm already damned. Looking into your eyes feels so good, it must be a sin. I'll run over a bunch of nuns with a lawnmower. Um, I think it's charm. I gotta go with charm. Ah, so charming. Excellent. Oh, I made him blush. Look at him. Uh, uh, um, cool. Uh, I mean, that's, that's not hardcore. That's not even technically a sin. But we, we'd have to at least make out. Maybe do some butt stuff. God seems to hate butt stuff for some reason. <laughs> Don't look so fucking excited. This is just so we can hang out. I take no pleasure in this. You're pretty sure you take some pleasure in this. And you definitely do. You gain two fun and one boldness. <laughs> butt stuff. How'd I get so much fun? Gosh. All right. Hey, Damien, do you want to go to prom with me? I mean, I came over to your house What's and everything. Up? What's up? Yeah, let's go to prom. Uh, I should warn you, I'm probably flammable. Um, sure. Um, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to the prom with you. Prom? Burning stuff and committing murder might be badass. Fucking but metal. nothing is as badass as following your heart and believing unapologetically in love. Let's do this. Let's live our lives with zero regrets. Prom, here we go. Let's set the world on fire, baby. Fuck yeah. Let's set the world on fire. Look at us. Look at us dapper dudes. So, so handsome. Prom night was crazy intense. At one point, a classmate of yours criticized how Damien is always getting into fistfights, for which Damien punched him, starting yet another fistfight. You joined in and fought with him back to back. It was a super sexy choreographed fight, and you even exchanged trusting glances while watching over each other's backs. And that wasn't the only time that night you took care of Damien's rear. Wink. Butt stuff. Aw, yeah. Green has most diplomatic smile. Which is hilarious next to this picture. <laughs> it's the most diplomatic smile is drooling with half your teeth falling out the side. Oh, Damien was voted best of violence. You are. You're the very best. All right. With that six new outcomes. There's six new events, seven new outcomes. That's pretty good. And I... Uh, Definitely unlocked the Polaroid that I need for this. Those weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Damien became an interior designer specializing in torture machines. Last month, Vogue magazine called his products the refined marriage between macabre and chic. I'm sorry, I put too, too much French on macabre. Macabre. Polly took a summer job as the ghost of Christmas present. She spent most of her time partying. There was almost no work because, you know, it was summer. Unless you're in the Southern semis Hemisphere. It's not like you couldn't get there, Polly. Vera built the over, uh, Oberlin. I keep saying Oberlin. Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? For those three weeks, the monster prom seemed larger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then. But there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Dun, 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 dun. What if I told you that the world was gonna end? 
you had 15 minutes to be with me and your friends. Alright, we can't, unfortunately, we can't sit through this song. Ah, try to stop it. Um, because when I upload these to YouTube, YouTube is like, no, you can't use that song that belongs to the guy who wrote it. And so he's, they're right. YouTube is right. Uh, and so I'm just going to cut that short here. <clears throat> All right. Oh, we unlocked some gallery things. Let's check those out. Yeah. So now we have our, our special end with Damien and we can see how everybody looks with him. These two are a very cute couple, but I feel like it's too easy. They're also, everybody's cute. Everybody's cute together. Okay, so we got that, and we got our new Polaroid, which we, oh yeah, look at this. Oh, it's a Hot Springs episode. Hot Springs. Steamy memories. That's all well and good, but I don't think zombies would smell that good all steamy. But it's magic, so who knows? I mean, all his bits still stay on. From all the butt stuff, I assume his dick is still attached. <laughs> who knows? All right, what's, what's our little special stuff that we got from here today? Come on. Oh, oh. There we go. Let's see. Oh, it's the little rejection screens. Well, Vera's laugh got worse. She, she just became... Aw, peace sign frown. Aw. Let's see. Hers looks pretty much the same. Vera's got worse. What's the next one? Oh, prom endings. Cute. So cute. Vera's beautiful. Gosh, I can't wait till we get hers. Hers is so hard to get. Vera is hard to get. All right. New Polly. Oh, I love your lines. She's playing a little chess. Because, you know, Polly may be uh, a lover of drugs and alcohol, but she's also quite smart. Let's see. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that's all of us. Ooh. I'm sorry, I just, I really like this whole aesthetic today. Woo, all right, so zoning out again, here I go. All right, well, that's the end of this adventure. Thank y'all for joining me. Um, you know, do all the usual things in whatever place that you're viewing this. If you wanna hear more from me, click the buttons that will let you hear more from me. If you don't wanna hear more from me, I'm sorry. Have a wonderful life. Uh, okay, well, that's all for today. Have a good one, everybody. Fargo says goodnight too.